Yeah, sometimes just a good lag putt here too can give you a lot of confidence. How about it? Or just make it. And for the moment, back to the top of the board. Action with Nick Taylor at the 15th. All uphill, got to drive this in there pretty aggressively to get it all the way back. That's well done. You don't have to stand there a long time, just get up and play. Sometimes it can be nice, especially when there's not a lot of wind or anything to deal with. Turn it over a little. Yeah, there you go. They're playing a draw. This is on a really good line here. We'll see about the bounce. Yeah, and he finds the putting surface. Yeah, pretty impressive performance. Two straight years. He has good vibes at this place. He's just a hair under 40 yards here. Took lifting in place, moves it to the right of full club. I get a little better angle on this left pin. That's a great shot, and he left it on the side of the hole, which means that he'll have an uphill putt. There's a putting green beside number one tee. Maybe go over there and hit a couple putts and get ready to go. Now mark it down on your calendar if you want at 12.03 p.m. local time on Sunday. The third round of this WM Phoenix Open is complete. It looks like he's got it wide open, going to try and carry it most of the way. <laughs> Good shot. That was really good. And yeah, Nick Taylor trying to tidy up his par. Found the bunker off of the tee, and that is a nice fall for the Canadian. Looking to become just the second man from his country to win the WM Phoenix Open. Back at the third, Nick Taylor is about to hit his fourth shot from the bunker. You know, he scraped that third shot after the penalty. That low hook in here, not what he's expected. But what a shot. <laughs> oh, really, that would be incredible to get a penalty drop here after another drive to the right. Over at the sixth, Nick Taylor. And his second, Woody. 143 back into the slight breeze. This is nine iron. Got to carry this one all the way to the hole. This is a good looking shot here. It is it ever. Nick Taylor with a tap in at the sixth. <laughs> Starting low, turning over. It does carry. Well, that's a heck of a play. The closest shot today in round four was by Bud Colley, just 13 feet, six inches. So nobody's getting it close on what is the hardest hole today and for the week. Nick Taylor is looking to jam up that leaderboard a little bit more. Reach 17 and catch Charlie Hoffman. And he does. Nick Taylor found some touch. I really think the key to this round will be that tee shot hit in the fairway on six. The first fairway he's found, he almost jarred his second shot with that nine iron. And that low drawn five iron to make a rare birdie here on seven. What a save for Taylor. This is the second fairway of the round that Nick Taylor is hitting here in a perfect spot right in the middle. And his iron swing is right on here. You see this going right at the flag, right over the bunker. Oh, it didn't come back for him. We saw Scheffler miss it left from a little different angle, but that looks pretty good. Ooh, that's the type of specificity wow. we love from John Wood. A dimple to the left, it goes down, and the Canadian now. Try to stay in it here. Where he's going to land this ball should kick it straight to the right. Took a little peek, a little left for Taylor to remain three back. <laughs> he's made a lot of those today. Even though he's three back, and this has been his comfort zone today. Another good looking iron swing. It's just where Spieth was. 
Does it have the speed to get all the way down there? What a shot there, Kiz. Did you see it hit that little ball mark coming back? Yeah. Or I think it would have had a better chance. Just on the right edge with some pace. Well, all right, so Nick Taylor gets to 19 under. He's within two. You know, and, and he made the right decision based on what he felt like. You know, if, even if he hit a spectacular shot, he's unlikely to make a three. Looks like he's drawn to it. Seen a few more birdies of, as of late, and Taylor is lined up to get to 20 under. Finds the bottom of the hole. Big, huge birdie by Taylor at 16. Never hit it high enough. So Charlie's lead remains. So Taylor makes his four, remains at 20 under, one back of Charlie Hoffman. Boy, good looking shot. Sounded, sounded really good off the face. Oh wow, it's all over it. Right behind the stick is Taylor. Does this guy have a flair for the dramatic to maybe pull out this one? Has done it again. Just right of the flag stick, trying to turn over a little bit. Oh, How about this one? <laughs> he just walks it in. How confident was that stroke? And that is four birdies in the last five holes, counting regulation for Nick Taylor. Taking it in low again on a great line just left of the hole. Another solid shot out of Nick. He's just hit it in there inside of 20 feet three straight times. Absolute unreal stuff in the desert for Nick Taylor. Another playoff win. What an incredible finish to the tournament. Five out of the last six, burying all three putts on 18. Charlie gave a heck of an effort, too. That was a great, great week. Second playoff hole. He's just filling it up with birdie after birdie after birdie. I know his pals, his Canadian pals are here waiting for him. Corey Connors and Adam Hadwin. It was Adam Hadwin who got tackled by a security guard in Canada at the last playoff win after he made that 72-footer. Charlie Hoffman, all he can do is clap as well. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.